Good evening and welcome to the Guam High School virtual graduation ceremony for the class of 2020. Thank you for joining us tonight and bringing our school into your home for the evening as we kick off this special ceremony for our graduates. For those who do not know me, my name is Jason Sheedy and I am honored to serve as the principal of Guam High School. Tonight is the final ceremony honoring our seniors after 13 years of formal education. This ceremony marks a milestone, not only for graduates, but also for your family. This class is special to me and many of you started with me back at Anderson Elementary School and more as sixth graders at Anderson Middle School. The rest of our graduates joined later and became part of the Guam High School Panther family. Although our time together this year was cut short, I hope you will never forget your time here at Guam High School. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the
Oh, 
Thank you again for joining us this evening. And at this time, I would like to turn the program over to our district superintendent, Mr. Jim Journey. Hello, seniors. My name is Jim Journey. I'm the superintendent of the Dodea Pacific South Schools. I wanted to take a few minutes to congratulate you on your accomplishments today. Today's graduation ceremony will be a little bit different, very unusual for sure. None of you had to march up listening to pomp and circumstance. Moms and dads aren't to the side or in the bleachers listening to us, shouting for us, cheering for us. Our friends aren't sitting next to us, and probably you're not really very nervous right at this moment. But just because the day is unusual, don't let it detract from how special the day really is. You've worked really hard to get to this milestone in your life. You've done that through hard work, dedication, and perseverance. I would encourage you today to relax and relish on the skills that have brought you this far. As the day's over and as you begin to move into your next adventure in life, whether that's going to be the world of work, higher education, or something completely different, remember the skills that you have now, the skills that have brought you this far, and keep the, the drive to Gain new skills, learn something new, and continue to pursue your passions. They're your dreams. I am very confident that each of you has the capacity to fulfill your dreams. Go out and make those dreams come true. And now, I'd like to introduce Ms. Lois Rapp, the Director for Student Excellence of the Dodea Schools in the Pacific. Class of 2020, family members, staff, and distinguished guests, it's so nice to be able to join all of you virtually today as we celebrate the graduating class of 2020. Our graduates have overcome significant challenges in recent weeks. As I was thinking about this and the exceptional circumstances surrounding this year's virtual graduation celebration, some words from Mother Teresa came to mind. People are often unreasonable. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are honest, people may cheat you. Be honest anyway. If you find happiness, people may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today may be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. Give the world the best you have, and it may never be enough. But give your best anyway. For you see, in the end, it is between you and your conscience. It was never between you and them anyway. Graduates, as you enter this next chapter in your lives, be forgiving, kind, honest, and happy. Do good and give your best effort. In life, there are so many things that we cannot control. We cannot control the environment. We can't control others or their actions. But we can control how we respond. COVID-19 has undoubtedly altered how you'd envisioned your senior year would end. But in the face of this pandemic, you have exemplified what it means to be resilient when facing adversity. At a time when we must distance ourselves from one another, you have found creative ways to come together virtually, to connect with and support one another. You, as a senior class, have a unique shared experience that will bind you for a lifetime. Class of 2020 will be remembered as the class that graduated amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. But this fact does not overshadow your accomplishment. You put in the work and you earned this moment. Let's celebrate it together. Congratulations, class of 2020. To the long distance family members, friends and supporters who have tuned in, Principal Sheedy, Vice Principal Hughes, faculty, staff, proud parents, and of course to our honored Guam High School graduates of the class of 2020. Good evening. Now I remember last August when I spoke in front of you at the bell ringing ceremony. 
I told you then that change is the one constant we can always count on. This global pandemic and the resulting worldwide response to include this virtual graduation is certainly not what I had in mind. I know that then, even if you were not excited about the homework projects and exams ahead of you, you were looking forward to the memories you would make with your friends and classmates during the year. This virtual graduation is a departure from the norm, that's for sure. It isn't what you pictured in your head the first day of your senior year, a normal traditional graduation ceremony with caps and gowns, speeches, applause, pictures, hugs, food, and presents. But this is the world we currently live in. Because of COVID-19, social distancing, and all the adjustments we've had to make to our lifestyles, in the interest of the health and safety of our communities and the people we love, some of those rites of passage every teenager looks forward to are missed. This is a time of your life that you can't really get back. And to be frank, I know it kind of sucks. Now we could all dwell on how much this new normal stinks, how we cannot see our friends, how we cannot go out for those big celebratory dinners or fiestas, but rather I'd look at the positive side of our current situation. There's a certain level of awesomeness that comes from being part of history. Most of our family members had those traditional graduations. They're all the same. Which one of your family members has had a graduation that truly stands out among the rest? Which one of us will ever forget exactly where we were and what we were doing when the world changed during the spring and summer of 2020? When you get a little older, you will likely forget the disappointment you may feel right now, and you'll turn this spring semester and graduation into a great sea story, a badge of honor, a formative event that stood out in your life as you are part of a historical event. And like any good sea story, the trials and tribulations, the drama and excitement will grow over the years, and you will be telling your kids and grandkids tall tales about your graduation day that are worthy of an action movie. As you transition from high school to your future, let me remind you that you're not alone and that you already have all the tools you need to succeed. As members of our military community, you grew up in a state of near constant change. With your parents, you picked up your lives every few years to jump headfirst into new schools and foreign places. You learned how to adapt to an ever-changing environment, how to make a friend before lunch, how to break into a new club, sports team, or social group. You've all learned how to meet new people, discover and appreciate different cultures, and even probably learned a few new languages. That adaptability and resiliency you have cultivated is an asset that will take you through the change and challenges that lie ahead. The education you earned over the past four years of high school and throughout all your years of schooling will serve as the foundation upon which you build your life. Now before I close, I would like to come full circle from that first day of school and regale you with another Mark Twain quote. The two most important days in your life are the day that you are born and the day you find out why. You, the Guam High School graduating class of 2020, know the day you were born and you will come to answer the why whether that answer comes tomorrow or in 20 years. And I, along with your many supporters who are watching with you today, cannot wait to see you answer that question and what you will accomplish along the way. Thanks for listening and congratulations. Hello, my name is Tom Brady and I'm the director of DODIA. Sincere congratulations to the graduates of the class of 2020. You have accomplished something remarkable. In the most unprecedented moment of time, you share with every other high school senior class around the world to be the first ever to graduate digitally and individually. I know you didn't ask for this distinction or for a global pandemic, but you were certainly more prepared than most. Your strength is your resilience. You have had your mom and dad deployed. You've moved and changed schools countless times. You meet and make friends wherever you go. And in many ways, these past months of social distancing and digital learning have just been another in a long series of challenges you have faced, adapted to, and overcome. I'm particularly thankful to you, your parents, your principals, their staff, your teachers, your communities, and your local commanders for doing such a wonderful job in organizing and contributing to your graduation ceremony that will be special, unique, memorable, and meaningful. Celebrate with your families. They were there for you to overcome every obstacle and meet every challenge. Always do your best. Always be your best. Help those in need. Never settle for less than you deserve. Be compassionate. Be generous. Be smart. And text and call your mothers often. Your future is bright. Best wishes.
Good evening, parents, family, and friends joining us from around the world. Mr. Sheedy, Mr. Hughes, my esteemed colleagues, and of course, the graduates of the class of 2020. It is my privilege and honor to be standing here as your commencement speaker this evening. I am extremely humbled to have been selected by your class council to give you a few parting words on such a momentous occasion. Before I formally begin, however, I want you to know that when I began the process of developing this speech, I had very different ideas of how I would address you tonight. I wanted to both inspire and hopefully encourage you to conquer the world. But the world as we know it has changed over the last several weeks. And while I still maintain that same objective, my message has had to change just a little. Let me start by acknowledging that your last few months of high school didn't pan out the way you had imagined. You didn't have your prom, you didn't get to have the traditional senior skip day, you didn't get your senior countdown, and you didn't get to make those final TikToks with your friends or say goodbye to your teachers and school that has been home for you these past few years or for some of you these past few months. Now, you are experiencing a very different type of graduation. I know many of you are saddened by these lost opportunities, and I'm sure some of you might feel like you've been robbed of the chance to complete this final step that you've been working so hard to achieve. I wish that these times were different, but as the famous character Dumbledore from the Harry Potter series once said, happiness can be found in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. This is one of my favorite quotes. It's a reminder that even in the most troubling of circumstances, there's always a silver lining to be found. Consider for a moment how historical these past two months have been. You've learned how social distancing and self-isolation could help your community. You've been exposed to new ways of learning and have seen how technology has become a necessity rather than a luxury. This pandemic has created a global crisis and you have had a front row seat as governments have formulated their responses, all while dealing with the impact it has had on your last weeks of high school and your plans moving forward. It has no doubt been hard and I'm sure many of us can't relate to how overwhelmed each of you must feel about your futures during these uncertain times. But as difficult as this situation is, there are so many lessons to take away. You have been given time with your family, extending your childhood just a little longer before you move on into adulthood. You have had time to think about what really matters to you and maybe even were given an opportunity to put that into action. Maybe you've been inspired by the recent events and decided to pursue a career in medicine or maybe in observing the heroism of first responders, it has reinforced your decision to join the military or maybe even consider a career in public service. Maybe this circumstance has made you rethink your entire future. Sometimes this deep reflection is necessary to help us put things in perspective. For what it's worth, I know that at the very least, these times will have caused you to treasure that special moment when you finally reunite with your extended family and friends. It will cause you to cherish the memories you made this school year because of how your time was cut short. You will probably want to jump on Mr. Sheedy tomorrow, but remember, we're still social distancing, knowing he might be the last school official you have physical contact with for a while. But more importantly, I hope you realize that these distinct challenges will define your graduating class. These challenges will produce a generation of thinkers who will approach problems differently. These challenges will better prepare you to deal with the adversity that is inevitable in this thing we call life. I hope that in all of this, you will have been given enough practice and feel equipped to find the silver lining in everything. Finally, take the time to reflect and be grateful that you are healthy and that you have a future to contemplate. Take time to thank the people who have made this moment possible. 
And by thanking them, I don't mean it in the traditional sense. Thank your parents, your siblings, your friends, your teachers, and your mentors by going out and being the best possible version of yourself. So before you turn the page on this chapter, I want you to know that I am hopeful. I am hopeful for the resilience that I know you all possess and will pass down to future generations. I am hopeful for the tenacity with which you will approach your future endeavors. I am hopeful for a future that you will make better. This is our vision. So go and find the light and lead us. The good news is you don't have to look very far because the light is in you. So go and shine that light brightly for all the world to see. And may we never, ever forget the Guam High School class of 2020. Thank you. Off the day and good evening, everyone. We have all been waiting for this day. This may not be the most traditional way, but now we're just doing the making. On behalf of the class of 2020, there are some people we would like to acknowledge and thank. To our wonderful counselors that made sure we were on the right path to be standing here today. To our hardworking custodians and lunch ladies that gave us a clean learning environment and will give us lunch even when there's no money in our account. To all our lovely teachers from pre-K to high school that provided us with knowledge and guidance. To our class advisors, Mrs. Lillian Chargaloff, Mrs. Romina Sotomil, Ms. Alicia Lim, and Mrs. Rochelle Cruz for working beyond hours to sponsor our events. To our awesome vice principal and principal, Mr. Hughes and Mr. Sheedy, for greeting us every morning and always having an open door for when we needed to talk. And lastly, to our wonderful parents. No words can describe how much we appreciate everything you've done for us. Mom, you've always been rooting for me and you've had my back since the very beginning. I love you. I hope the ELA teachers appreciate my use of an Afra. For over the years, you guys have praised rhetorical devices. Now that I've finished giving my gratitude to our numerous supporters, let's take a trip down memory lane. August 2016, we all walked into high school, not knowing what to expect. We were all rivals when we first came to Guam High, but we realized that we weren't dragons or Seahawks anymore, but that we were Panthers. And in order to make the most out of high school, we would have to be together as one. As time went by, we created a bond and achieved many accomplishments. We won the Spirit Stick for the first and last time during our third quarter pep rally sophomore year. We were awarded third place out of three competing classes in Guam High's first ever song fest. We managed to throw a prom without a DJ. Sorry to the class of 2019 that didn't get a DJ at their senior prom. We sponsored Guam High's first ever senior splash day and were the only class to manage to make a TikTok as a whole. And lastly, our biggest accomplishment, our three-peat second place title in this year's pep rally. Shout out to those that are still in the senior, second place senior season group chat. Although we weren't number one most of the time, you guys were number one in my heart, no cap. Speaking of no cap, a wise man once said, all year we've been saying no cap. Now look at us, with no gown either. This wise man is our one and only Ryan Tidegree. There was so much that we were supposed to do in these last three months. We would have had our last pep rally, prom, senior skip day, fourth quarter senior nights, senior banquet, senior countdown, and our senior pranks. Sorry, Mr. Sheedy, but we probably would have had more than one prank, but you guys got lucky this year. Although the coronavirus pandemic took away some of the best memories we would have in high school, it has taught me one of the biggest lessons I will ever learn in school that I wanna share with you all today. Throughout high school, we took for granted the time we had with each other, especially during our senior year. All of us were so focused on getting to the finish line that we didn't fully enjoy our year. Why were we in such a rush to graduate and leave behind the bond we created? If there's one thing we can take from this global epidemic, is that we need to appreciate what we have before it's gone. We already took our high school experience for granted, but now we must move on and start to appreciate what's around us. Take this quarantine to spend as much quality time with your family before you head out to where the future takes you. Be appreciative that our health workers are working endlessly to fight this virus and our teachers and administrators still find ways to continue our learning and found a way to give us a ceremony. This virus has taken away our senior year, but more importantly, it has taken away lives. Sometimes good things fall apart so better things can fall together. A quote by Marilyn Monroe. Class of 2020, 
This virus has made our senior year fall apart, but I know that each and every graduate, and not just here at Guam High, not just here on this island, and not just high school graduates, but every 2020 graduate has the strength to overcome, and you will find something that falls together. You truly are the strongest people I know because we were faced with the harsh reality and it took away a milestone that we waited for our whole lives. As adults, there are going to be many situations where something is taken away from you. But this class has been prepared to cope and to keep moving forward. Class of 2020, we are the future and we are the vision. Thank you. Joshua Phillips Santos Bamba, son of Rhoda and Leon Bamba, Guam High School student for the past four years. He has, he has taken nine AP courses. He was the school-wide male athlete of the year as a sophomore. He is a National Honor Society member. He's also very active in his church youth ministry. Some of his hobbies are being the GFA referee of the year and playing the piano in his free time. Guam High School's salutatorian, Joshua Phillips Santos Baum. Give up a good shot for a better shot. Two of my greatest role models live by this saying on the soccer pitch. Lionel Messi and my mom constantly preach this idea to their teammates and players. It is the idea with the underlying message that helping someone else achieve glory and honor is more admirable than to receive that glory for yourself. The world has greatly changed in our lifetime. Together, as the class of 2020, we have endured, created, and significantly influenced the world around us. We have managed to stay strong and versatile through the crazy events in our lives. However, it is important to acknowledge that none of this would be possible if it were not for each other. With each other as support, we are able to handle any situation thrown at us and improve ourselves. We, as the class of 2020, have a special and unique bond with each other, along with an unspoken sense of care. We all help one another improve in multiple aspects of our lives. None of us would be where we are today if it were not for each other. And for that, I would like to say thank you. Thank you to the class of 2020 for helping me improve as a student, an athlete, and most importantly, as a person. Without your support, encouragement, and our struggles, I would not be the person I am today. Thank you to all our teachers and staff members. Throughout our school lives, you continue to push us to do our best and help us break the limits we thought we had. Thank you to my coaches for helping me fall in love with sports, but more importantly, for helping me gain confidence and grow into the leader I am today. Thank you to my close friends for pushing me to finish my essays that I procrastinated on, the projects I forgot to do, and all the homework that I never finished till the day it was due. Thank you to my family, my mom, Rhoda, my dad, Leon, and my brother, Leon, for dealing with my weirdness and all my flaws. You have influenced my life so much, and I am proud to be a part of such an amazing family. And most importantly, I'd like to say thank you to God. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me with such amazing people in my life and for all that you do for us. As a Christian, I've learned that everything happens is God's plan. Now, I'm very aware that some things seem terrible and are nearly impossible to understand as something that God would plan for us, but everything has a purpose, whether or not we understand. As I said before, the world has changed. Our daily routines have been altered and our screen time has skyrocketed. But keep faith in God's plan. For I know well the plans I have in mind for you, plans for welfare and not for woe, so as to give you a future of hope. Jeremiah 29, 11. So to the class of 2020, I challenge you. I challenge you to trust in the path that God has set for you. I challenge you to continue to help others and to give up a good shot for a better shot. And most importantly, as the world continues to evolve, and as our definition of normal continues to change. I challenge you to make the new norm better for you, your family, and for the world. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce one of the co-valedictorians for the 2019-2020 school year, Emily Nicholson. She's 17 years old. She was born in Georgia, and like many military families and kids, she's lived in a lot of different states. She's lived in Georgia, Florida, Virginia, Texas, Las Vegas, Hawaii, and Alaska. She wants to earn a degree in marine biology, and her hobbies include reading, 
scuba diving, and fish keeping. And one of the things Emily didn't list on her bio was that she's also in ROTC and she's a pretty darn good shot with a pellet gun. Here's Emily Nicholson. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I speak for all of us when I say that I did not expect my senior year to end like this. The graduating class of 2020 is truly a unique group, not only because of what we have lost, but because of how, despite the hardships of quarantine and online school, we have triumphed. We have triumphed because when our classes were canceled, we took it upon ourselves to learn in an unusual and often difficult form. We have triumphed because when the highlights of our senior year, prom, sports, Far East were canceled, we took it with dignity and grace and acceptance. We have triumphed because even though we cannot walk across the stage and accept our diplomas to the cheers of our family and friends, as we have always dreamed, we are gathered here today, separate but together in a way that truly counts, to celebrate what we have rightfully earned despite the circumstances that would try to prevent us from doing so. None of us has ever had a school year quite like this one, but because of our teachers who guided us, because of our families who supported us, and because of our will to persevere and succeed, we have made it to this day. If we were to say that it's been easy, we would be lying. On online learning comes with many different challenges. Computers like to act up on a good day, and it's often hard to learn long distance without being face-to-face -face with a teacher. Not to mention those of us with AP exams who had to take our tests at 6, 4, or even 2 in the morning. For some of us, the hardest part was missing out on the things we've worked hard for. Whether it's something like not getting to go on Far East, or not being able to perform in the spring musical, we all lost some part of our senior year to this quarantine. But we have made it. We have pushed through the difficulties and the hardships. We have learned in ways we never thought we would learn. We have dealt with unprecedented situations. And most importantly, we have triumphed. Let that be what marks our class. Not the things that we missed out on, but the ways we have made up for it with our courage and strength during these strange and difficult times. We are the class of 2020, and I wish you all the best. Elizabeth Sheffield, who moved to Guam last summer, was born to Sarah and Joseph Sheffield in Salt Lake City, Utah. Her dad's service in the Air Force has given her some great homes in Albaline, Texas, Rapid City, South Dakota, Montgomery, Alabama, Longstuhl, Germany, Northern Virginia, and now Guam. Ellie is the fourth of six children. She loves all sports, but she has a passion for volleyball. Ellie loves serving as the captain of the Guam High School volleyball team. She loves to sing and play the piano in her free time and enjoyed being involved with the music department at school. Ellie has loved making Guam her home and exploring the beautiful beaches and hills. She, she is excited to join her older siblings at Brigham Young University this fall. Please let me introduce Guam High School co valedictorian Elizabeth Sheffield. Who would have thought Senior Skip Day would turn into Senior Skip Quarter? So grateful to have made it with y'all. I moved to Guam last summer. I was nervous and unsure of attending Guam High and what it had to offer me. I planned to simply slide through this year as a new kid, not really getting involved because I didn't think there was enough time to get to know everybody. I was ready to move on with the next chapter of my life. When I entered the doors of Guam High, those feelings changed. No one is considered a new kid at Guam High. It didn't take months to make friends or feel part of the class like I had at previous schools. I automatically felt like I belonged because Guam High embraces all. Guam High uniquely embraces everyone that walks in the doors, no matter where they came from or how long they're staying. We know how to adapt as we work together. There's a feeling of unity, friendship, acceptance, and school spirit that I hadn't experienced before. From the first day I walked through the school doors, I realized there were experiences and relationships ahead of me, ones that Guam High had to offer. Unity is what makes Guam High so unique. Each of us have seen examples of unity throughout this school year. We personally know Mr. Sheedy and Mr. Hughes. They didn't just greet us on the first day of school or at the beginning of the day, but between nearly every class, they were there. Each of us know, talk, and have our own personalized handshakes with them. In previous schools, I barely knew my principal's name. But here at Guam High, the principal knows my name. He knows and cares about what's going on in my life. We are united by the faculty. The teachers become your friends. 
classes feel personalized because bonds are created in the classroom. Our senior class has loved to get involved. I came in this year amazed that everyone was involved in one way or another through student government, clubs, ROTC, music, athletics, and so much more. For me, at the beginning of the year, the girls volleyball team became my family. No longer, um, not long after, the school choir felt like family too. Members of my AP Lit and government class also became part of my family. I think for all of us, the entire class of 2020 feels like family. What we've been through this year has made us rely on each other. Even during this pandemic challenge of COVID-19, where we've been physically isolated, our senior class has stayed together and remained strong. We never let this beat us down. We never let this discourage us. We never let it stop our success, unity, and ultimately graduating together as a class. We embrace change because we faced it together. This has been especially important during the last weeks of online school. How would we have survived without all of the TikToks? Class of 2020, as we start this new phase of life and move on, may we never forget to look out and embrace every possibility at hand. May we look for ways to unify the people around us just as we have done here at Guam High. Let us take these lessons from Guam High into our future. Dominic Jinen Alfano. Nevae Sinahai Anderson. Thank you to my mom and my grandparents and all my friends and teachers for supporting me these last four years. I couldn't have done any of this without you. I'm so proud of the class of 2020. Congratulations, everyone. Erin Manglona Aperon. Cheyenne Ray Ricario Awa. Congratulations is just one step to success. There are many more to come. Congratulations, Panthers! Wishing you much blessings, luck, and joy in your future endeavors. Fabian Scott Bagata. Cyril B. Baldonado. Joshua Philip Santos Bamba. Hey Panthers, we finally did it. We're done. We're graduated. I'm so happy to have been part of the class of 2020 and to be friends with all of you. Stay safe. Good luck in life. And God bless. Alexis Grace Blythe. Anthony Michael Bow. I'm Anthony Bow. I'm graduating class of 2020 from Guam High School. I just wanted to give a shout out to my family for supporting me, and I can't wait for college. Taylor Elise Kane. Lara Q. Camacho. Cheyenne S. Campos. Oh, go, Zai, go. Go, Zai. Jasmine Niley Carlisle. I just want to say thank you to all my friends and family. Go, Panthers. Ivan Jean Castro. Isaac Daniel Castro. Alana Nicole Cruz. Anaya Lynn Laguana Cruz. Thank you, Mom, Dad, Kate and Kate, and friends and family for supporting me through it all. I love you guys, but we finally did it! Peace! Zachary Joe Cabe Cruz. Darian Wayne Cutler. Carl Matthew G. Dahilig. Yeah, it's Carl Dahilig, and I'd like to thank all you guys for making my past four years at Guam High memorable. Kyle Gabriel Alcazarin Datu. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Thank you to everyone, and especially to my family and my girlfriend. I love you guys. And above all, I owe it to God. And one last time before we all go our separate ways, for the boys. Kaito Joshua De La Sierra. 
Mark Ethan Delphin. Angela B. Diamore. John Franklin Ebler. Hello. As I slide down from childhood to adulthood, I want to thank everyone. Ella B. Fedenko. Isaiah Connor Foster. Julius James Tan Gadwang. I never thought my senior year would end like this, but I just want to say thank you to my parents and my siblings for always keeping my head up and keeping me motivated. I love y'all. Ethan S. Garcia. Thank you for all of the memories. I love you all. My goal, Texas A&M. This is not the end of our journey. It's just the beginning. Catch you later, Ethan. Gavin Jacques Tyler Grachowski. Amber J. Guerrero. Joshua Augustine Haas. Thomas James Haas. Kayla Marie Henry. Josephine Reyes Henson. Gregory Antonio Hibbert. Michaela Marie Hobson. Tiara Marie Akfaje Ishmael. Matthew Wataru Jack. Jason Andre Jackson. See, I know this ain't how we want us to end our senior year, but you know, it's just a minor setback for a major comeback. McConaughey Hart Joseph. Thank you to everyone, my family, my friends, and everyone that I have crossed paths with. Thank you. Nicholas Elahi Keith. Shout out to the first virtual graduation class for the best class. Let's go 2020. Virgilio Austria Logan. Congratulations, class of 2020. I just want to thank my mom and dad and my two sisters for helping me get to where I'm at. And in the fall semester, I'll be going to University of California, Riverside. Giuseppe Antonio Lubrani. Leticia Diana Lynch. Raymond Lee Madaris. Kaya Jasmine Makahi. Although our year ended earlier than we expected, sometimes the best things come unexpectedly. Here's to the class that can overcome anything. Biba 2020. Chloe Destiny Marler. Mark Anthony Martinez. Mark Martinez, graduating from Guam High School. I want to say thank you to teachers and family who have been supporting me throughout my whole four years of high school. Thank you so much. Mitzi Martinez. Rosalind Grace McAfee. Jayan X. Mendoza. Audra Joy Middlebrook. Deborah Helen Middlebrook. Isaiah James Mosley. Zolan Rose Newhouse. Emily Kate Nicholson. Thanks, guys. It's been a great school year. Miss you. 
Patrick Tracy Ulande Nuke. Laurel Margaret Olson. Connor Conan Page. Sean Sho Page. Kaylee Divine Cariasso Pereira. Nathaniel David Peroy. Hey guys, I know our last few months of high school didn't go as planned, but I'm very thankful for the past four years of being with you guys. And go Panthers! Kyra Amaya Pitts. Thank you so much to my friends and family who supported me. I will be going to the University of Hawaii. James Pershing Price. Ashton Celine Cruz Kichocho. Congratulations, class of 2020. We did it. Ruben Anthony Ramirez. Victoria Eloisa Reyes. Abigail Grace Riley. Hi, I'm Abigail Riley, and I'm enlisting to the Air Force. And I just want to thank my friends and family for helping me get this far. Hannah Chriselle Usana Sambrano. This may not be the graduation ceremony we all wanted, but sometimes it's about the journey, not the destination. To the strongest class out there, Biba 2020. Sierra Alia San Nicolas. Eller Shane Castillo Sanchez, Ashley Marie Shonals, Elizabeth Sheffield. Peace out, Guam High. It's been real. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> Alexandra Brianna Shimasaki. Abigail Nicole Steinhagen, Wyatt Daniel Stifler, Zabri Monet Santa Maria Susuico. I would like to thank my teachers for helping me succeed, along with my friends and family who supported me throughout my school years. Noah Kyle Tainatongo. Happy day, guys! It's Noah Tanatongo. Just wanted to express my gratitude for everyone who was able to make this happen. And without you guys, we would be forgotten. Tano Joseph Taidagui Tanatongo. Yo, I just wanted to say thank you to all my teachers, family, and friends for helping me succeed and make it through high school.、Um, I mean it from the bottom of my heart, and I love you all. Ryan Michael D. Taidagui. Happy day, class of 2020. My name is Ryan Tadigri, and I just want to say thank you to everyone that's making this possible. Because without you guys, we would feel pointless. Alia J Takai, Serenity Baranda Yuloa, Andy Yamil Vasquez, Jalen D Villegas. Hey, it's Jalen. I would like to thank all my peers, all the faculty, and everyone who got me through high school completely. I just want to say thanks. Teague Eldridge Walker. I once again want to thank my friends and family for all their love and support, and my current plans are to be attending college in the fall semester. Justin Tatsuya Washington. Shannon Joseph Webb. Hello.、Uh, I just wanted to thank my friends and family for helping me throughout school this year. Thank you, guys. This is the moment that we've all been waiting for. Seniors, I know you aren't physically with us, but I am going to ask you to stand wherever you are. In a few moments, all of you will begin another chapter in your lives. And so, 
by the power vested in me by the Department of Defense Education Activity and its director, Mr. Thomas Brady, the Pacific Director of Student Excellence, Ms. Lois Rapp, and the Pacific South Superintendent, Mr. Jim Journey, I have reviewed and certified your official school transcripts and have the honor and the privilege to announce that you are now graduates of Guam High School. You may turn your tassel from left to right. Thank you all for helping celebrate our graduates in this unique way. Mr. Hughes, your teachers, faculty, and staff are very proud of the class of 2020. Before we go, I would like to personally thank our teachers, counselors, senior class counsel, our graduation gurus, Mr. Joe Mancuso, Mr. Chris Swenson, Ms. Lori Blanchard, and our queen of graduations, Ms. Rochelle Cruz, who without none of this would happen. Thank you, team. I would also like to celebrate a couple of our teachers who will be retiring this year. Mr. Rod Kaywood, Mrs. Teresa Kaywood, Dr. Keith Henson, and Ms. Lily Bordalio. Thank you for your many years of service to our military connected families. You will be sorely missed here at Guam High School. Okay, now it is my turn to talk to the graduates. One last time. Panthers. I am very excited to see you tomorrow at our drive through celebration. Some of you have known for a very long time. We have worked hard to build foundations and invest time and deposit value in each and every one of you as a Dodea school community. Like your parents and guardians, I am looking forward in nervous anticipation for that value to rise as you go into the world. We will watch with great pride. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be your principal here at Guam High School these last four years. You are all very valuable to me, to each other, and to your families. Please continue to grow that value and don't ever throw it away. If you ever lose sight of your value, seek help from those around you. Big transformations are happening for you all. Remember, it's not the change that will get you. It's the transition. Transition from child to adult can be hard, but we have prepared you. It takes adjusting and embracing. Change is awesome and change is growth. At this time, in a normal commencement, students would dance down the aisle. Now please turn music on in your homes. Don't hesitate to celebrate by dancing with your family. Thank you for joining us in Panthers. Please remember to be safe while you celebrate. We love and miss you all. Have a great evening. Throw your caps up to the sky because there is no limit to how far you can go. We, we are, are so proud. proud. Congratulations. Congratulations. What was this? Laura, class of 2020. We're so proud of you. We want to congratulate you on earning your first scholarship. We love you. We love you, Allie. Congratulations, Carl. We're proud of you. We love you. Congratulations on your graduation, Carl. I love and miss you so much. It's been a moment to say we are so proud of you and all your accomplishments. Congratulations on your graduation. We love you. Congratulations, Jasmine, class of 2020. We love you. Hey, Lara, congratulations on your graduation. Continue to do great things. You're the best. We love you. I could be there to see your graduation. Be am proud of the man you're becoming. I love you. Our daughter Sierra San Nicholas, uh, your mom and I are very proud of you. We love you and congratulations. 
Ethan Garcia, class of 2020. Congratulations, son. Four years. Look what you've done. May God continue to bless you. We Congratulations. Love you. Congratulations, Abigail. It's been a long and well-traveled road through many different schools, but you finally made it. We're very proud of you and look forward to see what you're going to do in the future. Ticia, happy graduation. Enjoy your college life and best of luck from us. Congratulations, Lexi! We love you! We love you! Congratulations! We're proud of you! Just want to say congratulations. I'm very, very proud of you. See you soon. Gregory Hibbert, congratulations. We're very proud of you. And we love you. Love you, love you so very much. Congrats! Congrats. Oh, bye! bye. Congratulations, Kalei. You did it, baby girl. I'm proud of you, sweetheart. Proud dad here. I'm the proud mom. Proud sister here. Congratulations, Patrick. You, you did, did it. it. Congratulations, Ivan Jr. We love you. We love you, son. Congratulations, and we wish you the best in your new future. Congratulations, Darren. We're so proud of you. Super, super proud. Grown up to be a good man. Well done. Congratulations, Emily. We're very proud of you. And we look forward to all you'll accomplish in college. Congratulations. proud of our senior, Michaela Hobson, and the class of 2020. You all are resilient and strong. Congratulations, class of 2020, and a very special congratulations to Michaela Hobson. I'm so proud of you. Maya, I am so proud of you and your many accomplishments. Know that I will always be here and that I love you. Congratulations. Congratulations, Tony. We love you. We are so proud of you, Josie. You made it. Congratulations, Senior 2020. Congratulations to my son, Noah Tanatongo, and my nephew, Aaron Akron. Go! 2020! Aaron, I wish you many prayers and blessings for a bright future. I'm here for you always. I love you. Congratulations, Congratulations Aaliyah. We, we love you. you. Congratulations, Auntie AJ. We love you. Congratulations, Aaliyah. Congratulations, Tano. We are proud of you. Good luck. Good luck. We, we love, love you. you. We love you, Taylor. You've made us so proud. Happy graduation. Congratulations. Graduation. And how do you say? So, you take it easy. Love, love you. you. Congratulations, Nick. Nick, you are so proud, so proud of, you. of you. 
Can't wait to see what the future holds. Congratulations. Congratulations, Andy. Hi, Zach. We love you and we're so proud of you. Lucas! Congratulations, Congratulations Fabian. Fabian. We're, we're so, so proud, proud of you. you. We, we love, love you. you. Congratulations, Gavin. We're so proud of you. Can't wait to see what the future holds. We love you. Congratulations, Congratulations, Ellie. We love you. Good job. We're love you, BYU. Congratulations, Ashton. Congratulations, Ashton. We love you.